reflected image. Okay, the reflected image here. And for the first one, I'm going to throw them out there in multiple choice format. But for the other ones, definitely want you to uh, come up with the new ones for me. So reflecting the x x axis, I make the um, I make the y axis negative. So a couple of ways, yeah, that's what we're doing. The good good thing here, like like I I can tell you that this drops down to here. So I'm not I'm not necessarily thinking of a rule, but the rule is that the ordered pair, the y value is negated, and the x value stays stays the same. Okay. So then it can't be A, it can't be B. So it has to be C because D doesn't work. So it'd have to be C. Okay. How did you come up with that? Uh, I just had to check the first point. Uh, or the one five, it, it would be one negative five, and C is the only one that has that option. Good, good. Okay, great. So the next one here I'll give you does not have a uh, multiple choice here on it. So you can you can take a look at that. I would recommend making a table. Okay, I would recommend creating. You know, you've got you've got X, Y, kind of your 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 old. And then your X prime, Y prime, your your new, okay. So like, I, and I would label the, the points, you know, C, D, and E. So like, the ordered pair for C is two, one, D is one, four, and E is four, one. Yep. And I would, and I would do them like I would do all the five units left because that affects X. So I would know that that's minus three, minus four. And minus one. Yep. And then um the three units down. So then minus three for which for whatever it is. Yes, minus two, one, and then minus two. Okay. All right. Uh so the, like you've got to be able to come up with that on your own. Uh and then another kind of a backwards, well, not a backwards, another way that you could see a problem like this is they could give you kind of the pre-image and the post-image or the new and the old here. Okay, so let's try something like, like this. Um, okay, so then that, it shifted over. Two, three, four, four, five, six, seven. So shifted right eight. Okay, right eight, and then up. Um, then right or up one, two, three, four, up four. Okay, good. All right. All right. So now, now we're going to get to the more difficult ones. And you, and you, you had a picture of that in your, um, in your book here of the, the rotations. Okay. What's your plan to memorize those rotations, specifically the 90 degree counterclockwise? So she said that the ones that, she showed us a picture of we should always assume that they're counterclockwise unless it says explicitly clockwise okay um so then um i'd probably just like create flashcards or something for that okay yeah and and, and that's important it there's actually another thing here which is that Two seven. I'm sorry. Ninety counterclockwise is the same as two hundred and seventy okay. degrees cl clockwise. Yeah. Clockwise. Okay. Um, so you have to you have to um, know that. Um, the other thing is is I get like and I would probably make a table here, but we can go point by point. So n is at minus five 
five, okay? What is the rule for 90 degrees counterclockwise from your rotation, that page you sent me? Um, it is negative B, A. It's good to say what it's going from. A to B goes negative B, A. So I, yeah. one of the things I see here is that um, the X value is moving to the Y value. And then the Y value becomes the X value, but is negated. And, and that's, you have to somehow remember these up here at the top. What would the new point uh, become? Um, negative five, negative five. Yes. Okay, and we can we can label that new point uh, down below. We'll do that at the end. So P, order pair P is negative four, five. What does that become? Negative five, four. Okay. Negative five, negative four. Uh, yeah, negative four. Very good. So I so what the way I would do it just just again it's because this is gets so awkward. I think when it's a and B's and X and Y's. I would actually label all the points negative three, two, negative two, two. And then I would I would do like since since X becomes Y, I would do all of those. I would say, okay, well, my thing isn't working. All right, just had a technical thing there. Hang on. I gotta yeah. share my screen again. That's not happened in a while. So I was trying to show you here, let that load up, is that I would I would go through all the X values and populate those in the Y. So I'd go minus five, minus four, minus three, minus two. And then I would go do all the these right here. I would I would say, okay, they they change sign, negative five, negative five, negative two, negative two. Okay. Uh, I try to do them like it's 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 faster to do the same thing over and over again than to do two different things over and over again is I guess the point of that okay all right and then when we graph these it should in some ways look like it look like it is rotated negative five negative five negative five negative four negative two negative three and then negative two negative two do you remember how to label your new points? Shouldn't it like M prime, Q prime? Yes, very good. You got it. All right. Um, so I think I've got one more of these that you can try. Yeah. All right. So I want you to do a workup on this one. And I'm just interested in the, the new points. Okay, 90 degrees clockwise. The first time I write down the point. So one, three, uh, four, three, six, four, three, four. And then... That becomes, since it's 90 degrees clockwise, that means 270 counterclockwise, that becomes B negative A. Sounds good. So then um, 3, negative 1, 3, negative 4. Sorry, sorry, did you say B negative A? Yeah. It's, it's A, B becomes negative B A. It's just like the one we just did. So it's 90 degrees clockwise. No, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're right. You were right. I am wrong. 270 degrees CCW. Yeah. So A B becomes B minus A. Yeah. And there then four negative three. So I got three negative one, three negative four. Hang on. Four hang on. Tell me where 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 does M go? Let's start with just M. Where does M go? So M is one three. So M goes at three negative one. Okay. 
Let me get through that in another color here. All right. What else? L goes at three, negative four. Okay. K goes at four, negative six. And J goes at four, negative three. Okay. Does it does it sort of look like it's been dropped 90 degrees? Yeah. And it, it sort of should. Um, it also needs to be the case that like M and L line up, so they're going to line up down here. Same with J and K, things like that. It's another okay. way to sort of figure out um, what's going on here. All right. So okay. I've, I've found some other problems here. Um, just, just to remember, it's just on transformations. It's not on like you mentioned earlier, Volume, Pythagorean theorem. Quiz on reflections. Um, yeah, so it's like a quiz on refl uh, reflections and transformations. Okay. So here's a new problem for you. It, I want you to write the rule for this, meaning like what does X? Oh, yeah. So what, y how does to? it? Yeah. So then you have to write it in that format, I think. So it's like X comma Y becomes, uh, so that looks like it's a, it's not a reflection over the X axis. It's not rotating 180 degrees. So, so that so the first one is five zero. So then B prime is one three. Oh, this isn't like a this isn't a rotation or that's it, just it, like it, it is not it is yeah it's just a it's just adding. So then it's y plus so x minus x minus one two three four seven becomes x minus four comma y plus three okay now be very careful here are you going from right from the one on the left to the one on the right or the one on the right to the one on the left one on the right to the one on the left okay so verbally we're going left four left four up three up three this right here is right for. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm sorry. The way they they do they do this differently, don't they? Sorry. This this uh, yeah. This is correct. You got it. Um, I was thinking they did it opposite here. But they don't. All right. Perfect. So that's good. Um, I'm trying to find some questions that are hard enough to challenge you, but I'm not finding much out there. Um. There's really only a couple of types of problems. They give you, they give you points, and they ask you, you know, what is the transformation, or yeah. or they ask you to make the transformation. So let me uh, let me see what else I got here that I can throw at you. Um, so we'll just throw some basic ones. Did your teacher give you any other review materials? Um, no, it was just that page. Okay. All right. And then we did scale factors and like dilations and stuff like that. All right. But that's pretty easy. So go ahead and uh, try this one for me, please. Okay, point A, reflected over the x-axis. That means you make the y negative, negative 2, 10. So one of the things you can always do here is do a quick you know, sketch here. Here's yep. negative 2, 10. There's what she said, negative 2, 10. Yes, that, that is correct, okay? All right, uh, here is another one for you to look at, think about. 
Your quiz is tomorrow, you said? Yep. Okay. This one is rotated 180 degrees about the origin. A negative two, negative four, because it's the opposite. You just negate them, yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. Um, So I'm just trying to find something here that's that's uh, challenging. Um, wouldn't say this one is challenging, but it's a it's at least a problem we can look at here we haven't done before. Go ahead and take a look at that. Let me know what you come up with. Okay. Um, reflection of x axis, so negative two, negative three, four, negative two, and three, two. Okay. Now, what if, what if it's now a dilation? with a scale factor of two. It's a dilation uh -huh. scale factor two. Do you remember what that does or how that affects I the value? I multiply both points by two. Okay, so what would the new coordinates be? Negative four, negative six, eight, negative four, and six, four. Good, very good, okay. So if you understood that, let me throw a new one at you here that's related. See if it's kind of the same type of question, but it's just a dilation this time. Here we go. Take a look at that. Um, dilation. Basically, they're oh, asking so, how did you oh, get, oh, how, how did uh, you get so that? it's divided by two, so it's one half. So then negative four, zero, and then one, negative one. All right, very good. Okay, so here is a new problem for you to look at. All right, so this uh, this one wants you to do the transformation in exactly two moves. It's kind of like chess. Um, I don't know if you played chess. That before. looks like a one hundred and eighty degree rotation. So, got to do it in two moves. It's got to be done in two transformations. So oh, so reflect over x axis. So the first one is x axis, and then the second one would be x comma y. Um, you can just say you can just say up down left right you know shift horizontal yeah. Um, we're one. And then over one, two, three, four, five. So then X plus five or to the right five and then up. Well, it's just two transformations. So you, you've already gone over the X axis and that's fine. Now what are you going to do? Yeah, so then uh, down one. Okay, so hang on a second. X if, plus if, five, if, and then y minus one. 
No, no, it's, it's got to be, it's, if you're going over the x-axis, it, it looks like, it looks like this now. I, I, actually, I'm sorry, I've got that off by one. Yeah, that, shouldn't that be uh, by yeah. one? Yeah, let me grab that. Okay, so this, is, so this is fine. It's over the x-axis. Now, what are you going to do? I thought it would be up one more. Oh, Sorry, I'm uh, boy, I'm having a bad, bad day. You are right. I'm, I'm so it's got to be done though in two transformation. That's what I'm trying to, this, yeah. So, so, you, so you can't, you can't, um, I don't want to say it's like you can't, um, it's going to involve a, a rotation, I guess is the point. Um, uh, because, because now you've got to go down one and then right, it wants it in two transformations. Okay. Um, so then it's not reflecting over the x-axis. I don't think that's going to work. So I was going to that, but I, I, um, I wanted to see if you know if you had some ideas. I'm pretty, pretty sure it's a rotation followed by something else. So then it would be negative seven, negative two. So if I flip that, it'd be seven two. So that doesn't work. Mm. Negative eight or negative seven, negative eight. What would a what would a what would a one hundred and eighty degree rotation look like? Um, so it's negative three two. So it'd be three two. Okay. So that puts that point there. Yeah. Um, okay. So you guys, okay. No, no, you guys have not covered this. So th there's a few other rotations that you can do, which I don't want to say Reflecting this. Reflecting um, over the y-axis. Well, you were on the right track here. You just can't, you can, you can, you, it doesn't have to be just the x and the y-axis. Like you could choose to reflect it over, say like this line right here. Not that oh you'd want yeah, to. we haven't done like reflecting over vertices or over points. And and that's that's the other thing. You can rotate about a point. So okay, that that probably wasn't fair to ask you that. Um, got it. I'll uh, let me see what else we can do here. Uh, we've done rotations, done rotations, more rotations. I mean, what do you think you need help with the most going into this? Um, I I don't know. I guess like repetition. Okay, I'll just keep keep firing off these questions. Then I just don't know if they're they're helpful, but just say they are. So okay, here we go. We'll just make this a little smaller okay triangles vertices at a b and c which transformation would produce an image with vertices three negative one two negative four and eight negative three um so that's b negative a so that's 270 degrees clockwise counterclockwise yes very good All right, here's another one. I'm gonna just make a small change here to this one because I don't think we've done enough of these. Let's say it's the uh, Y axis this time. So then seven, three, negative two, six, negative three, five. Okay, very good. All right, let's look at another one here. All right, describe the transformation to go from RTS to VXW. Um. 
What's that? A 180-degree rotation? Okay. No. Uh, it can't be. Because then they would be facing the other way. That's v right. Would be facing the other way. So... That might be a reflection over the y-axis and a reflection over the x-axis. So if you go over the y-axis, it would look like that. Uh oh, okay. So it's not that. I guess this one isn't clear. It should say transformations. Okay. Um... Is it ref no? It can't be a reflection of any kind. So is it like moving right and then moving down? Yeah, see I, I always think of translations first, then reflections, then rotations. So yeah, I would think of this as either down and then right or right and then and then down. questions on that no okay it's a new problem for you to look at um that's gonna be like a rotation of 90 degrees you gotta be careful there is it 90 degrees Clockwise. It's 90 degrees clockwise because it's going the opposite way. Because counterclockwise, it would end up in quadrant four. That's right. right. But, it, but clockwise, it would end up in quadrant two. Or quadrant, okay. yeah, quadrant two. Yeah, it's quadrant two. The uh, the designation between those two is very important. And you're right. It, it only moves one quadrant. So that's another kind of a you know shortcut to those. All right, um, let's look at another one here. All right. Um, rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise about the origin. So then, so 90 degrees counterclockwise is negative BA. So then become negative 2, negative 2. So then B would become negative 5, 2. C would become... Um, that through uh negative three. negative three six and then d would become three four so the question is does that does that sort of look the way you would think if it were if you could rotate it yes I would agree. Looks looks pretty solid there. All right, so here's another one. You got to look really closely at the letters before you answer this. You, what you've got to make sure of is that like like the mapping like x x goes to d p goes to w yeah and t it, goes to l so that's a reflection over the um x axis that's right because there's 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 a there's maybe another way where it, it's something else if you're not paying attention to to the letters all right. Okay. Uh, here's another one of those for you to think about.
What transformation is going on TNC? Um, 180 degree rotation. Okay. Um, you do want to spe you do want to specify like that it's about the origin. That's really okay. important. Uh, so T goes to C. So another way you can yeah. kind of look at it is like like there's this symmetry line between them. Um, N goes to R. It has to go through the origin. Yep. And then the last one there, the Z goes to M. You can see that in uh, in green here, like that. All right, let me see if I can find something on dilations. We haven't ton, done a ton on that. Okay. Uh, let me know if you've done any problems like this. Uh, just, just to keep throwing this out here, are they giving you any problems like this with dilations? Um, so it's twelve to six. So that's a two to one. So then, wouldn't it be x equals ten? Yes. Okay, so that's. That's pretty straightforward. Um, okay, here's here's maybe a good one to figure out the dilation from the graph. Um, so then I just need one point. So point A goes to point R, right? So you always match up the letters and you're okay. right. A does go to R, but be careful about which one is the pre-image and which one is the post-image. That looks, so it looks like it would be divided by three because it's, it was, um, I think it's a, factor or uh k equals uh, one third yeah i would tend to agree and that's only because you're going from the that direction if you're going the other direction what would the it k would be, be three three yeah okay it would be three good All right, so this one's the same thing. I think this one's a little bit tougher though. So let me just uh, grab this one. It's it's finding the the, um, the scale factor again. And like you said, you only need one point, especially if it tells you that you're looking for a scale factor. Now I'm going to take a look at that one. Um, that one's a little harder. But like you said, you just do one point, and you're you can give me either way from the smaller to the larger, or the larger to the smaller. I would go from the smaller to the larger. Yeah. So then, Um, is it a scale factor of two? So that means that, that like you're going from like, let's pick L. L is two comma six and, and it's then, going, it's going to three comma, three comma nine. Oh, okay. so you can write an equation two X equals three or six K equals nine. So yeah. then it'd be two thirds. It'd be a scale factor. Oh wait, no, it'd be uh, yeah, no, three halves. Scale factor of three halves. So one and three a half. Halves. Yes. Okay. Good. 
All right. So we finally found something that was a little bit tougher for you. Um, see, that one's not any harder. Uh, I mean, I think you're going to be doing a lot of graphing on this, but here, here's one that we we've not touched on, but it's it's a it's kind of an important relationship between sides. So there's no numbers in the following here. It's just a can you come up with the proportion for the sides? Um, so then what proportion could be used to solve for the length of WZ? So when it says proportion, does it mean like what dilation? Like what would the scale factor be? It's, it's, like, really... it's like WZ over something equals something. So, so what, WZ over... Um, what does it go to in the other? Over KN. Uh, over KN. KN. Now you got to pick something in the other or in the first shape to go on is top equal, again. Is equal to uh, XW over KL. So notice though you went X to W. It's a small thing. Kind oh, of, uh, you probably so want to go LK. LK yeah. Okay. Like that. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Let's see if you can do one. Actually, that won't, uh, that won't work on that one. Yeah, so this one's not moved around, so it's not even difficult. All right, all right. Here's here's one last problem. I I I don't know. I really wish I knew more of your teacher style to know what this what to give you here. I'm just a little bit of a guess today. All right, take a look at this one, please. Okay. Um, it doesn't seem like it's all in the same thing. Like it's so I would probably do 18 divided by 12.5, like okay. on a calculator or something. Are you allowed to use a calculator on this one? Yes. Okay. Do you have one real, real quick? Yes. 18 divided by 12.5. So it'd be a 1.44. Good. So what's yeah. the new, the new, uh, the feet? So then times three is 4.32. 4.32 feet. Good. All right. Well, um, I guess review, make sure you know those formulas. That's probably where I'd be most concerned is if you don't have yep. those down, although you knew them or maybe yep. you're looking them up every time, <laughs> but you, you 